Hi, my name is Grace Olson. I'm a junior here at Butler and I'm studying environmental studies. I'm Corey Dean. I'm a junior here at Butler University. I'm a double major in environmental studies and biology. My name is Laura Alabin and I'm a senior here at Butler University majoring in history and environmental studies. I'm from the Indianapolis area and this semester I've had the pleasure of being a vegetation sampling intern for the Center for Urban Ecology and Sustainability. The three of us collected data to help a nationwide project understand how urban environments affect the kinds of wildlife that we see in cities. We specifically focused on how the types of plants and plant structure affect what we caught on cameras in these forested areas around Indianapolis. The results of our data collection are helping researchers understand how animals view the environment around them and can possibly be used to help control populations in cities. In continuation of this project, the data collected from our research must be analyzed in order to make connections to see how vegetation structure affects habitat selection in these urban environments. This data will be important in finding options to maintain or even enhance biodiversity in urban environments because it could potentially give insights on what vegetation structures increase biodiversity. We will be seeing that vegetation can be a predictor for wildlife in these urban environments. As far as relations to people are concerned, further research will be extended off of this to see if there's a connection between levels of vegetation, biodiversity, and socioeconomic status. This could have implications on advocacy for more green spaces in certain areas of our cities. The equal distribution of green space is an important environmental justice issue as green spaces are known to have many benefits, including public health benefits. The results and implications of this data can be presented at conferences by students such as the Indian Academy of Science Conference and the Undergraduate Research Conference and can be used to advocate for policies to increase biodiversity in urban settings and increase green spaces for public health. There are many ways in which Butler University students and Indianapolis community members can support our research. One way is by simply educating yourself about urban ecology and the biodiversity of species that live in the cities that we all call home. By acknowledging that there's a lot of biodiversity and urban ecology in our cities, we can better understand the way our actions impact animals and species that live near us. Another way Butler University students and Indianapolis community members can support our research is by volunteering at and shopping at local urban agriculture farms. These are great sources of biodiversity in our city and they also help by providing fresh local produce to the community. Lastly, another way that Indianapolis community members can help is by not planting two invasive species that we saw at multiple sites that we researched. These species are invasive honeysuckle and invasive winter creeper, which are often planted in gardens or landscaping and end up invading the local habitats and hindering the growth of natural plants and also hindering the movement of local urban wildlife through these different locations.